So another question that may be worth answering is, is Rn a subspace of itself? So let's consider an example in order to determine whether or not this is true or not. So here I have three dimensional space. I have an X, Y, and Z axis. So I'll, I am operating in the vector space R3. And let's say that I have these vectors V1, V2, and V3, which are all the three coordinate axes. So recall in a previous video, I said that if we take the span of any n dimensional vectors, then that will create a subspace of Rn. So in this case, I have three linearly independent vectors that exist in R3, so they are three dimensional. And if I were to take the span of this vector set, V1, V2, and V3, and since the, these are linearly independent, we know that it spans R3, but we also know that the span of any vector set creates a subset of the vector space it is in. And in this example, we are in the vector space R3. So we know that the span of these vectors, it must be a subspace of R3. But look what we have right here. R3 is a subspace of R3. So we can generalize this to a rule that Rn is a subspace of itself. And we can justify this with our reasoning that Rn is obviously entirely contained within Rn because these are equal. So anyway, thanks for watching. And in the next video, we're going to start talking about specific subspaces like column space and null space and row space. So if you guys haven't subscribed already, feel free to subscribe, feel free to leave a comment. And if you guys have any questions or need clarification on any topics, go ahead and send me an email. Uh, you can tweet at us or, or share your questions on Facebook and we will get back to you and we will make videos for you. So thanks for watching and until next time.